Hello, it's Teacher Carrie here, and I'm back with another Minicam tutorial. Today, I got a new update for Minicam, and I want to show you its newest feature, a live or interactive whiteboard. No, of course, this video has not been sponsored by anyone, so hashtag not sponsored, and let's jump into it. I'm going to take you over to the view of my computer desktop, where you can see me in my Minicam operations window. And I want to talk to you a minute about how you can find your interactive whiteboard and some ideas that you might use uh, when you are teaching. So in order to get access to your whiteboard, we actually need to switch into what is called overlay mode. Overlay mode is really cool because it allows you to kind of shrink down your Minicam operations window and just use a few key features. This will help you save some space on your computer desktop if you are using just one monitor or if you just like things to look a little cleaner as you have your VIP Kid classroom open or anything else open on your screen as you are teaching. So in order to get access to our overlay mode, we actually want to hit this little button right here. It looks like a square with an arrow pointing down in it. And if I click on that button, I'll bring myself on the screen sort of small. You can see that it has hidden this overlay of Minicam into the left hand side of my computer screen here. It's kind of a little, like a little app drawer off to the side. And if I press this little button that is a square with an up arrow, I can get my full window back. And don't worry, we'll talk more about all of the features in this overlay mode here in a minute. But we do also want to think about the settings for Minicam. So I'll bring you over to the settings here. And there's an option here for switch to overlay mode when Minicam is hidden. You can see that I've had selected to put mine on, but if I were to take that off, and then go ahead and use that little minimize button. Now it has just shrunk my mini cam down to the bottom toolbar of my computer. There's nothing hiding over here on the side. So I do like to have the option on. So I'm going to switch that little slider to switch to overlay mode when Minicam is hidden. So if I were to minimize again now, it's going to go ahead and turn on my overlay mode for me but you can decide how you like to do things and whether or not you want it to automatically switch into overlay mode. One of the nice things about this overlay mode, if we switch back here, is that you can actually pick up this little control window and put it somewhere else on your computer screen. So if you don't like that it's hiding over there in the left-hand side, you can just pick it up and put it somewhere uh, that you're gonna be able to use it a little easier. Let me take you through some of the features here, and I'm actually going to start at the bottom. The one that I like the most about this is this little video button. So if I click my little slider to video, you can see that it popped up kind of a little preview of what my student is seeing, my active video feed here. So you can, of course, turn that off. And then if you know what your preset looks like, that's fine. But I like to have a little preview of what my students can see. And in this little menu here, this little live button would be for like live streaming if you play video games or things like that. Um, you can change the view here. You could make yourself in a little bubble, but I sort of like the little square because that is most closely resembles what my students will see. And then there is a little background button and this button is a little bit backwards because you would think that turning the background on would make it show your background, but instead it actually disappears your background so that you kind of are floating around. Now I use a green screen which is how it's able to disappear that background. So if you're using a physical background and not a green screen, um, it might do something a little different for you. But so you can have your little preview here of your active video preset in Minicam, and you can also get access to the rest of your video presets in Minicam. So you can navigate between them from here. So let's say that I wanna just switch over to my preset number one. I can do that from this little menu. And of course I can still use my hotkeys as well, or I can, tap on that to uh, or tap on your computer desktop to make that go away. I'm just going to go ahead and use my hotkey to switch me back into this little view where you can see me as I am talking. And here we are today. What we want to find is our new whiteboard. And you can do that here in this drawing menu. Now you'll notice that a new toolbar popped up at the top of my screen. 
And if I come over to this little on slider, I can click that on and get access to the whiteboard. And of course, I can resize that to make it any size I'd like it to be. Now, these buttons are pretty similar to what you'll find if you use your draw and text widget in Minicam. You have a little pencil button here where we can draw anything we want. And if we click the little down arrow, we can, of course, change the color to anything we want it to be. So I can just draw or write anything I want there. And there is a little opacity slider as well, so you can make it a little bit lighter in color if you want to. Now you can use these little arrows here to go back as much as you want or go forward if you have deleted something on accident. And of course you can erase or clear the whole page here. So those buttons are pretty intuitive. Now what I'm most excited about with this feature is this little text feature, because I don't have to actually draw a text box in order to use it. So I have here just come down to my little drop down and selected the text that I wanted and the sizing that I wanted it to be. And then if I click anywhere on this whiteboard, you can see here that it brought up a little cursor where I can start typing in this box and I've got the ability to move it around as well. And of course, if I don't like what I did, I can just delete that little thing or come over here to my selector tool and that will get me out of that little text menu. And another feature that you can see here with this text box, let me just type hello. You can see that the color is the same as whatever I had my last uh, color for my pen selected as. So if I highlight that, I can, of course, just change it. And then I could click off of it, and then you can see my new color there. And it also has a little highlighter if we want to use that. And unfortunately, the highlighter, it doesn't seem like you can change the color on it, but that's okay because if I wanted to, I could just use this little marker and turn down the opacity and then I could have a different color of highlight. So there's some really cute features with that. And there is these three little dots on the side here. It says you can open file or save a file or um, change the opacity of the actual whiteboard itself if you wanted to make it look more like you were writing on a clear or transparent board instead. So that's kind of cool. Now I haven't played around with these open or save file type of things. I think it might mean that I can save what I have done on my whiteboard here, which is pretty cool. And another new feature is this little stamp button. So we can give a thumbs up. <laughs> now it's pretty tricky to get just one stamp because the longer you hold down your pen, the more of those you're going to get. But of course you can just delete them if you end up with too many. It looks like we can have a thumbs up, a little speech bubble. I like these little hearts. <laughs> it's pretty cute. So you can have some fun with that. Now, when you're ready to be done using this whiteboard, there's a few things that you can do. First, of course, just come over to this little off button and slide it off. But you'll notice the little toolbar still stayed on my computer desktop. I can get rid of that from here. And if I want to get it back, I can just come back to my little drawing widget and put it back. So that is nice, but let's talk about what your students actually see as you are using this whiteboard. So I've just opened up my VIP Kid Practice Classroom. I need to re-enter. It says I've taken too long. Here we go. Just give that one little second to warm itself up. And if I turn my camera on, you can see that this is my active video feed, right? So if I start writing on my whiteboard here, my student isn't actually seeing this yet. So I need to create myself a new preset in order to actually use this whiteboard. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put myself into full screen mode here. I'm gonna come down to any old preset that is open and I am going to select a desktop custom area. So I wanna to go to desktop and then I'm gonna select custom area. Now I can pick up my little whiteboard and move it out of the way there. So when I cut over into my new preset, what I can do is just pick up my little dotted line box. You're probably used to doing this if you use Google Slide Rewards. And I'm gonna fit it over my little whiteboard here. So now um, my whiteboard is on the screen. And of course I need to add myself into the video feed as well. So what I'm gonna do is come back over to my Minicam video feed, right click over it. I'm gonna select add new layer. 
press my little plus button and add the correct camera for me. And now I am back on the screen. And if you are using a physical background and not a green screen or virtual background, it's going to show, of course, whatever is behind you. But because I'm using the green screen, I do need to go over here to my virtual backgrounds, turn them on, and then I'm just going to put myself in a transparent background using the settings that I always use. Now, of course, if you need help with your virtual backgrounds, go checking on my channel here for a video called how to set up your virtual backgrounds. <laughs> and you might also want to view my video called five keys to success with a green screen if you are brand new to green screening. And so now when I write on my whiteboard, it's going to show up in this video preset. And I can do some resizing here of my little thing so that the edges look nice or maybe I can uh, go ahead and slide the edges of my whiteboard out a little bit more so that it can occupy that space. Now, you might be concerned that if you are in your VIP Kid classroom and you've got your Google Slides open and you've got your Minicam open, where in the world are you going to put this little whiteboard on your computer desktop? And here is what I would suggest. So we can first put ourselves into this overlay mode in order to get access to the whiteboard. And then what you might want to do is just move the whiteboard to behind where you are normally putting your Minicam operations window. And when you set up your custom desktop area, you can of course just slide it over to your whiteboard in this new location. Now when I pop myself back into this full screen mode, you'll notice I've got some craziness happening behind me because right now Minicam can see itself. But usually when I'm in my other presets, it's not going to see that because I haven't put a custom desktop area over my mini cam in any other preset. So what I can do is when I want to use my whiteboard, I can first just um, put myself into this little overlay mode. So right now the student still sees this nice clean sky background. And when I'm ready to use my chalkboard, I can access it with my hotkeys or with this little presets menu here. And the uh, preset number for me was number four. So when I use my hotkeys to transition over there, now my student can see this whiteboard. So it's actually not taking up any more computer space than my mini cam was to start with. And I can of course move these boxes anywhere I want them to be. So as I'm in class, my student is just going to see exactly what I want them to see. So again, I can put myself back into this preset that looks really nice for my students. And when I go back to full screen mode, everything is fine. And then when I want to transition back over into that little whiteboard, I can just do my cute little overlay mode and hit my hot key to get that little chalkboard back. And I think you can also um, then, of course, I'm not sure, actually, I don't think you can move this toolbar at the top there, but that's okay. It's not taking up too much space. And of course, you can arrange things on your screen however you like them to be. But this is one idea just to kind of keep that little chalkboard hidden behind your regular mini cam, but be sure that you are switching over into that new preset that you created in order to actually access it. So I hope that helps you. I think it's a really fun new feature. If you want to download the newest update of mini cam, let me know if you have any questions about using it and I will do my best to help you. I hope you have a great day teaching and I will see y'all later. Bye.